Hello and Assalamu alaikum. Uh, very good day everyone. My name is Nazmin and today I will be presenting about the knowledge about pre-service special education teachers in North Malaysia regarding the development of Autism Spectrum Disorder ASD children. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Nazmin. So I hope that we can share knowledge and ideas. I can be contacted via email at nazmin at ipgkda.edu.my. So as for today's uh, presentation, I'll be talking about introduction, research objective, research questions, methodology, findings and discussion, and also conclusion. All right. As for the introduction, so autism spectrum disorder, also called ASD, is a neurological developmental disorder characterized by persistent difficulties in social communication and social interaction and limited and repetitive patterns of behavior, interests, or activities. This is by American Psychiatric Association in 2013. And for 2014, the overall prevalence of autism among uh, 11 autism and developmental disabilities monitoring websites was 16.8 per 1,000, which is 1 in 59 for 8-year-old children. Uh, and overall estimates of ASD prevalence was between uh, vary between sites uh, from 13.1 uh, to 21.3 per 1,000 for 8-year-old children, while recent studies in Asia, Europe and North America have identified individuals with ASD with average prevalence between 1% to 2%. And ASD is associated with a very large financial burden with total cost per year for children with ASD in the US estimated to be between 11.5 to 60.9 billion. This large economic burden represents wide range of direct and indirect costs from medical treatment to special education to the effects of productivity among parents. All right, let's look at the methodology used in this study. So ethical approval was obtained by the Department of Special Education in Institute of Teacher Education Campus A, and notice of consent was obtained prior to the study participation. Special education teachers in training are free to participate and are told that refusal to participate in no way will affect their education status in Teacher Training Institute. And a total of 54 special education pre-service teachers in training completed the study for analysis and this represents 100% response rate. And all items of the questionnaire were adapted to the Malaysian cultural context from, me uh, from measures used in the previous studies that assess awareness of ASD. Questionnaires um, assessing knowledge of ASD use item content from previous studies conducted for this purpose and this previous knowledge generally uses pilot studies to ensure adequate item clarity and psychometric properties. Uh, and this is the research objective. So this research assesses the level of knowledge of educated students about the development of children with ESD. And as for the uh, research question, so there are five research questions. Number one is what is the level of knowledge of pre-service uh, teachers about the development of ESD children? And number one, are this, uh, number two, are there significant differences in the level of knowledge about the development of children with ASD by gender, year of school, highest level of education and interaction with ASD students? And uh, question, research question, Number three, are there significant differences in the level of knowledge about the development of children with ASD with teaching experience and school uh, location? And research question number four, what is the level of knowledge of pre-service teachers about the development of children with ASD based on their assessment? And research question number five, what is the opinion of pre-service teachers on the need of training and teaching strategies of ASD students? Now, let's look at the uh, research demography. 
All right. So as you can see in table number one, the demographic data uh, of uh, study respondents. So study respondents completed a questionnaire that took uh, their demographic information such as age, gender, education, experience, previous experience, knowledge with children with special need and their areas of interest uh, or experience which is are from urban, suburban or rural areas. So this is the data analysis. So based on the uh, descriptive analysis or performed for each uh, item in the questionnaire, um, according to the criteria set by Lian et al. 2008, study respondents were considered to pass in the knowledge test uh, when obtaining a score above 50%. Inferential analysis, which is uh, a t-test, was performed to compare the scores between the two groups involving gender, level of education, year of uh, study, close interaction with autistic children. And in addition, one way analysis of variance, which is ANOVA, was performed to see if there were significant differences in knowledge between several groups based on the demographic factors such as experience and school location. And significance was set 0.05 for all analyses. The data obtained were analyzed using the SPSS version 26. All right, so this is the research finding. So as you can see, um, based on the research finding uh, for the pre-service teacher's knowledge of the development of ASD children, the average score for special education, special education teacher's knowledge uh, was 5.13. This average score exceeds 50% based on the criteria of Lian et al. 2008, indicating study respondents passed in the knowledge test of ASD children. With a reference to the score rubric in Table 2, the level of knowledge of pre-service teachers related to the development of ASD children is at moderate level. So, uh, a t-test was also performed to see if there was a significance between ASD knowledge scores with several variables such as gender, year of study, highest level of education, interaction of ASD children, and nevertheless, all t-test scores showed there was no significant difference in the level of knowledge of pre-service teachers based on their gender, year of study, highest level of education, and also interaction with ASD students. Meanwhile, the ANOVA test uh, that compared the ASD knowledge score with several variables, namely teaching experience and school location, also, also showed that there was no significant difference between between the variable study. So, um, as for the at the end of the questionnaire, respondents were asked to assess their level knowledge related to autism. So, based on the self assessment of pre service teachers' level of knowledge related to autism, so a total of uh, 49 pre service teachers, equivalent to 90.7% of the study participants, rated themselves as having moderate knowledge of autism. And uh, as for um, the need of, of for specific training of teaching strategies for autistic students, although in general, for uh, ninety eight point one of uh, percent of students have experienced teaching students with ASD, but ninety two point six percent stated that they still need specific training related to teaching strategies for autistic students. So as for the discussion, uh, today there is no specific evidence to show that ASD can be cured because ASD is not a disease but rather an individual neurological disorder. Understanding children with ASD is important in helping them live a better life. It is inaccurate and alarming when the results of the questioning show only 22.2% of the 54 pre-service teachers were able to un answer item 6 question correctly about treatable autism. The same thing is shown in question item 8 regarding children with autism can be cured if they uh, were given appropriate treatment. Only 25.9% of special education pre-service teachers were able to answer this question correctly and remaining 74.1% considered autism to be treatable diseases. 
Then this is in line with Kaplan 2012, who asserted that there were uh, there are no effective evidence. Uh, based pharmacological options available for treating ASD, behavioral in intervention shows some evidence of improved cognitive and adaptive functions in individuals with ASD. And for the conclusion, uh, we can see we can see that there is still lack of awareness about autism, and the level of understanding about autism is still at a low level. And study participants were aware of their lack of knowledge, and study interest in increasing knowledge about autism and urgent. There's an urgent need in the curriculum for special education teacher training on autism. So that's all uh, from me. So if you have any question regarding my research and my presentation, you can contact me via email uh, through nazmin at ipgkda.edu.my. So that's all from now. Uh, thank you and bye.